top story this morning. One person is dead after an overnight crash that shut down part of 465 on the west side. Police believe it was part of a chain reaction from another wreck in the area. News 8's Joe Melillo joins us live from the scene this morning. Joe. Yeah, good morning to you, Drew. Good morning to you, Scott. This part of this fatal accident, part of the problem was due to the backup caused by the Rockville Road exit backup. Uh, the crash happened around 1130 last night. Police say on the scene that uh, on 465 southbound and Crawfordsville Road, right after that, uh, an an earlier crash from Rockville Road caused the lanes to close and the traffic to shift. As the traffic was slowed, a semi truck was waiting in line to get off the exit when a small four door sedan slammed into the back left corner of that truck, rear ending the semi. The driver of the passenger car was pronounced d dead on the scene. The semi driver was not injured. The commercial motor vehicle that's here was uh, stopped in traffic, waiting it's in the queue, as we call it, to get off the interstate when the passenger car, for unknown reason or reasons, uh, failed to stop and drove directly into the rear of the semi. Yeah, as you heard Nina earlier, the uh, lanes have now reopened here just south of Crawfordsville Road and 465 exit interchange. Now we're standing just just north of that interchange and no details about the driver have been released at this time and police do not know why that car was traveling so fast into the back of the semi truck. So uh, maybe more details later on and we'll bring it to you live here on Wish TV. Back to you. Yeah, Joe, thank you. Let's go over that original crash.